Hello, everybody. The Denver Nuggets are missing Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray, so they're going to be really good next year. But they gave the Warriors a run for their money, and then the Warriors brought in their new death lineup again, and they went on a huge run again, which turned the game completely around. So things started a little bit awkwardly. Entry to the post. Steph gets cross screen from Draymond, and he cuts straight down the middle. But Wiggins' pass had too much mustard on it and deflects off of Steph. Luckily, Jordan Poole is right there. They're just going to flow this into a quick split. Steph and Clay run towards each other. One man dives, one man pops. Clay sets pin and screen for Steph coming around. Defender trailing Steph hard. No one ever got fired for following Steph Curry. And Aaron Gordon also realizes hey, my job security is solid if I follow Steph Curry. Two men go to Steph. That means Clay can slip. And look at the spacing in this lineup. Wiggins is pulling this man out of the paint. These guys are guarding Steph. This guy's out on pool. Jokic, he could sink back, but the Nuggets were trying all night, trying to figure out where to put him. No one is remotely close to being able to challenge this. So that pass, it's a little bit ahead of Clay, but he manages to catch it and he gathers and has plenty of time. So for the death lineup, the story is always who's defending Jokic. So they wanted to be Draymond at all times if possible. But there are four people that, in theory, you could force to switch to defend Jokic. So that's pretty much the soap opera of every defensive possession. So here, Jokic setting a screen on Jordan Poole, which will spring this man free. So Draymond has to switch to contain, and Jordan Poole has to switch to Jokic. So for a split second here, Poole is guarding Jokic, and Draymond is containing Will Barton. But now the challenge becomes, how do you get the ball to Jokic so he can torture Jordan Poole with his size and skills? So Jordan Poole is not playing Jokic to prevent him from going to the basket. He's trying to cut off any sort of pass to Jokic, and Draymond is getting his hands up and getting right in Will Barton's face, so it is not an easy way to get the ball over. Jordan Poole sells out hard to go up in the air to stop what looked like a pass over. So now Draymond is having to split the difference between guarding Barton and trying to stop any pass to Jokic. Barton figures, hell, I can do this, and he just goes for this pretty tough bank shot, which Draymond swallows up. So in this lineup, we are wondering who guards Jokic, but then the question becomes, who does Jokic guard? And in the quick transition, Jokic has to pick up Steph Curry. This is not a fair matchup for Jokic, so Steph just walks right around him, and that forces the defense to collapse. Aaron Gordon was following Clay, but now he has to stick around to stop Steph from just waltzing in and getting an absolutely free layup. So that means that Clay is free, and this is an automatic for the Warriors. He springs out to the corner. Jordan Poole sets a back screen on his defender so that the help can't rotate to Clay. The good news is Monty Morris did a good job getting through the screen so he's on clay. The bad news is now he's on clay and clay is taller than him and doesn't mind posting him up. Tonight I feel like Morris did bait clay into a number of off balance fadeaways but in this case clay gets really close and swishes it. This play is all about trying to get Draymond off of Jokic. So we got the feed over here from Jokic. Draymond playing a bit off of Jokic because I don't think Jokic has hit a three-pointer this series yet, so Draymond's saying, you gotta prove to me you can hit this shot, and Jokic says, fine, I'm gonna shoot this thing, and Draymond says, whoa, whoa, I better at least contest this, and so he gets up in the air. Jokic now dribbles off, gets this slip screen from Jeff Green, who peels off. Clay feels like he has to cover Jokic. Draymond feels like he has to cover the cutter. All right, so victory. So now Clay is covering Jokic, Unfortunately, Jokic had to sacrifice his dribble to get over here. So now, can Denver get the ball back to Jokic in time to exploit this mismatch? Jokic resets into the corner and then tries to turn and post up Clay to get the ball right back. Steph is making it hard by being in this passing lane. So he's on this side and he's forcing this drive baseline. Draymond is just sitting here saying, bring it on. So Morris tries to get back to the wing in order to get a better angle. So he can either feed Jokic or he can send it two pass to the top and into the post. Again, trying to exploit this mismatch. Jeff Green had cleared out to the corner 
in theory, to bring Draymond over there, but Draymond feels like, no, I'd rather just stick around Jokic. I think this guy's more dangerous. Clay is still on Jokic, so Jeff Green is actually completely open, but I think Draymond felt free to do this because he knows they're trying to force feed Jokic, and also there's less than four seconds on the clock, so there's not really a lot they can do. Finally, Clay realizes, oh, Draymond's got Jokic. I don't really have to deal with this dude anymore, so he runs out to close out on Jeff Green, and so that means that all options are closed. Gordon just has to go for tough runner. So here's the basic problem with guarding this Draymond Green screen for Steph Curry, this wing pick and roll. Can't really blame Denver. No one in the league has really solved it. Question number one is where do you put Jokic? So it's clear that this defender has to go over the top to stay with Steph. If you put Jokic back here, then Steph can just stop right here and stop and pop for three. So that's not a great place for him. So if you don't put Jokic back here, you could put him way up here at, at the level of the screen and have two guys attack Steph and trap him, but then Draymond can slip and Steph will throw it over the top and then it becomes a four on three. So that's not a great option. So here they try to split the difference and have Jokic a little bit below the level of the screen. So then Jokic can challenge his three point shot, but maybe he'll just have a step so that he can catch up to Steph. It turns out the step is not enough. Steph baits Jokic into coming out a little bit too far. You don't want this defender to leave Clay. You don't want this defender to leave Poole. You don't want this defender to leave Wiggins. So it's just going to be Steph against Oxygen here. Okay, so Denver runs back fast. So the Warriors have to pick up whoever's closest. So Draymond ends up off of Jokic, which means Andrew Wiggins has to cover Jokic. So this is really good for Denver. So they need Jokic to get into the post and to solidify this matchup. Entry pass right over the top. So this is excellent. Unfortunately for the Nuggets, they seem to be losing their composure a little bit. I don't really know what Gordon is thinking here. I think it'd be better if he somehow spaced out and tried to get Draymond to go with him. So the Warriors say, let's just do this again. Wing pick and roll, all the same dilemmas for where to put Jokic. It looks like Dre wants to set the screen where he did before over here, so Steph can go this way. But then Steph doesn't seem to go for it. Draymond looks like he's going to rescreen on the back here, so Steph says, fine, I'll go this way. This defender goes hard to try to blow his way through the screen, so Steph says, all right, I'll dribble behind my back while you're going this way, and I'm just going to go this way. Now I don't have to worry about you, and it's just going to be me and Jokic in space. He's trying to keep the defender on his back and attack Jokic at the same time, and it absolutely works. And Steph drives left, Jokic stays with him, got the pivot foot down, and now he's going to spin through the two defenders. Jokic plays it perfectly. It doesn't look good for Steph, but you know, he's just feeling it, and he just sneaks that incredible layup. Steph pivots on a dime with the behind the back dribble and he's suddenly going the other way. He dribbles this way to keep this defender on his back. If he went this way, then the defender could come over here to force him back to the wing. Here comes the pivot. Really well done, but Jokic actually plays great defense. He even gets an arm up to contest. This is just a phenomenal shot from Steph. All right, so that's how you turn an eight point deficit into a lead in just about a minute and a half. Okay, let's remember the entire soap opera is can the Nuggets stop Draymond from guarding Jokic? We have a player coming around for a dribble handoff. Poole trying to fight around this stagger screen. Draymond had to step back in order to let Poole through, and now Jokic is running for the hills. Get this maniac away from me. Screen Draymond a second time. So Jokic is quite free for a three-pointer. Unfortunately, he just has not been hitting his three this series. Clunk. In this counterattack, Steph is dribbling right into him to try to keep Gordon guarding him. Bakes the pull-up. Gordon has to respect, so Steph says, see ya. Steph has enough of an angle that Will Barton feels like he has to help off of Draymond. Steph is causing a lot of chaos. He seems to be falling to the ground. He somehow gets this pass through to Draymond. I don't know how he got it past Will Barton. <laughs> if you count the people on the screen, there are four Warriors, five Nuggets, which means Jordan Poole is just hanging out here next to the three-point line, very much in his range. This is an interesting play. So we have Wiggins, setting a screen for Steph, and he's going to insta-slip the screen, but the Nuggets decide to spring a trap on Steph instead. Wiggins rolls to the basket, but he's met by Barton, which means that Aaron Gordon here has to cover 
Clay and Draymond on the weak side. Steph tries to force them to commit to him, so he drives, and they both follow him into the paint. In the meantime, Aaron Gordon finds it easy to decide to stay with Clay, and so Draymond is completely unguarded. Wiggins has wandered off. The man who had picked him up, Will Barton, is now watching Steph. We've got three guys watching Steph. So Steph decides to do a relocate. He throws it out to Draymond. I feel a little bit bad for Andrew Wiggins. Here he is, completely alone on the court. There's like literally a quarter court between him and anyone on the Nuggets. But Draymond says, eh, instead of throwing it back to a really open Wiggins, let me just try Steph running backwards, turning around, twisting shot with a guy in his face. Okay, celebration audit. We got Steph on the ground here. Juan Toscana Anderson sees a brother in trouble. He's going to run right over to Steph. He sees Steph is behind the play. He is trying to get up. He's off balance. What he really needs is some stability where if he applies strong force right to Steph's left buttock, that will, if you do a force diagram, Steph will fly this way. Uh, what, you got like angles here and stuff, cosines. And anyway, this is just good physics with the solid propulsive butt whap, bonk. Actually, I don't know if Steph looks all that balanced right now, but good try on on the um, on the butt physics. It's a little bit blurry, but let's see. I see Kavan Looney going nuts with the hallelujah. Uh, can't quite see what these guys are doing, but enthusiastic hand motions. I'm almost afraid to see what Bielitz is doing. He's like got like a, a very gentlemanly fist pump. Does he have his hand in his pocket? This is like a, the emo Holden Caulfield, or uh, I don't know what you want to call this. But uh, okay, we're gonna give you a pass, Nemnia. 